Okay, so here's my We Buy Any Car experience. It's actually, I'll tell you a little bit about the process of going to the dealer and uh, yeah, that's a, that, a little bit about that as well. So went to the dealer, we're going to buy a car, um, want to trade in the old car. So they give us this uh, amazingly low ball figure of ten thousand I'm sorry, of seven thousand dollars for a car that has is less than five years old and has twenty less than twenty four thousand miles on it. So here's the thing. I, I I was fortunate enough to think ahead and talk to a coworker who had used We Buy Any Car and um, I went on their website and I put in the uh, VIN number of the vehicle that I wanted to trade in and they gave me an estimate of over $10,000. It was 10600 if I remember correctly, a little bit of change. So here's the deal, though. Um, so I, so basically, I told the, the dealer to go pound salt, and then I'd uh, sell the car to be, we buy any car. And the dealer said, okay, um, go get your money. So, um, you know, maybe they didn't want my car. Um, that's fine. Um, it wasn't the same brand, so I get that. Also... Um, Maybe they just, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe they're one of those dealers that has a lot of inventory right now. There aren't, there's a lot of dealers that don't. But there's also other uh, dealerships. You can pretty much sell your car to any dealership right now because most of them want inventory, even if it's not the same brand. So I did actually go to the uh, Ford uh, website, the dealer where I bought it, and they have a uh, spot on their website that says, we'll buy your car from you. And you put in the uh, same thing. As we buy any car, you put in the uh, VIN number, and they use Kelly Blue Book to come back with an offer. Now, their offer came in at about $300 less, and they called me, actually, almost immediately after I put the offer in. So be prepared for that. If you're going to do this through a dealership, they're going to call you almost right away. At least that was my experience. And uh, and they were like, hey, when do you want to bring a car in? And I said, well, actually, we buy any car had uh, given me about $300 cheaper or so uh, or more uh, offer uh, more money. So I'm going to go with them. If that falls through, I'll call you. And then they did follow up actually the dealership and followed up to see if um, we buy any car was going to, uh, that deal went through. So they must be desperate for inventory. Anyway, uh, we buy any car called me after I had put their um, thing on their website and they, and we made an appointment to uh, have the car evaluated. So just bear in mind that the number that they give you on the website is the absolute most money that they will give you for the car. And it is dependent upon the car being ready to ship to the dealer because that's apparently what We Buy Any Car does. At least that's what I was told by the person who worked there is that they sell cars to dealerships. So it has to be pristine. It has to be detailed inside and out, uh, washed, waxed, uh, vacuumed all that sort of stuff, which my car was not. Uh, but I was told that it didn't matter, to, that I didn't have to do that. So I didn't. And I went down and they uh, promptly told me that, you know, that it was going to need, you know, this, that, and the other. There was bird uh, feces uh, on the um, roof and uh, leaf mar marks from leaves and stuff. And yes, we do park it under a tree. And they were going to have to sand it, wet sand that down um, in order to get that to look nice. Okay. Um, the guy also uh, went around the car and uh, used this device that he said was measuring the paint to see if any panels, body panels, been recently replaced or repainted. So there's that. So be aware that that's true. Uh, that's going to happen. Also, the guy uh, test drove the car. So if you're bringing in a car... It has a default, uh, or a fault, rather, I should say. Uh, they're going to probably find it if, it if it's something that, like, if there's a knock or a ping, like in our case, there's a blower motor that wasn't working, which is the reason why we wanted to get rid of this car. There were two, actually, were out, and the dealership, the Ford dealership we were dealing with, they were giving us a big runaround about how much it was going to cost to fix, and once they got in there, might have to replace the heater core and all this nonsense, and we weren't going to deal with that. So so we decided, you know, to get rid of the car. So the, we buy any car and knocked money off for that. 
mechanical repair, the estimate of that re mechanical repair as well. So that makes sense. Oh, by the way, the, uh, at the beginning of the inner, you know, the process of us dropping off the car, the man said that it was going to take about an hour. Well, it took about two hours. So just be aware of that. Um, I, cell reception was terrible in his uh, particular neck of the woods. Uh, I know because I was sitting there trying to do stuff, work while I was waiting for him to evaluate the car and his iPad wasn't working and then he had to call his boss and technical failures and this, that, and the other. So not the smoothest experience uh, that I was expecting. So maybe if you're strapped for time, maybe you drop it off and then you let them evaluate and you come back once they come back with an offer. So finally, after him doing all this stuff, he comes back, uh, plugs everything into his uh, desktop computer and comes back with an offer. And he offered me $8,500. So that is significantly less than the $10,600 that uh, the website spat out. But it was significantly more than the $7,000 which the dealer was going to give me. Now, bear this in mind as well. Because if you turn in a car at a dealership, at least in the state of Pennsylvania, the, that is, it counts as a credit off of the sale price of the car that you're buying. So say you're buying a $20,000 car and they offer you $7,000 as a trade-in, your actual sale price is now $13,000. Now, why is that significant? That's significant because you'll only be taxed on the sale price of the car. So you'll only be taxed on the $13,000 instead of the $20,000. Therefore, depending on what the sales tax is in your state, or if there is, maybe there isn't, um, the real value of the car that you would have to get from a private buyer, which we buy any car would be, is more than the trade-in value. So in the case in the case of my car, it's about $7,500 was like the real value, trade-in value, even though they were going to take $7,000 off of the sale price. You see what I'm saying? Because you would have to pay the extra in uh, taxes. So <laughs> in order for this deal to work out, I needed more than $7,500 from We Buy Any Car, which I got. So I got an extra grand by taking the time, two hours out of my day, or maybe more with the phone calls and stuff like that, to, um, to sell it to We Buy Any Car. So that's what happened in my case. So if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. If this was of any value to you, please smash like. That helps me immensely. And subscribe if you want to hear more. And please put your experience in the comment section so that other people can benefit from your experience, which is why I'm making this video so that other people can benefit from my experience. And it's just my experience. Every, everybody's probably experience is going to be different. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.